continue on with digraphs this week. Today's lesson will be pretty quick. We are going to uh, make some words and review some sounds. And then I have a game for you to play on the Google Classroom where you're going to have to match some digraphs. Um, it's a computer game on education.com. I think you'll enjoy that. So let's go ahead and get started saying the sounds together. We have A, apple, a, ah, B, bat, b, C, cat, k, D, dog, d, E, ed, eh, F, fun, f, G, game, g, H, hat, h, I, itch, i, J, jug, j, K, kike, L, lamp, o, M, man, m, N, nut, n, O, octopus, a, P, pan, p, Q, U, queen, qua, R, rat, r, S, snake, s, T, top, t, U, up, a, uh, V, van, v, W, wind, w, X, box, x, Y, yellow, y, and Z, zebra, z. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, vowel sounds. Remember, our vowel sounds can make a long sound where they say their own name and a short sound. When we stretch them out, we're saying the short sound that we hear. Let's go ahead and do that together. A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i, o, octopus, a, u, up, a. Nice job. Last week, we learned all of our digraphs. Let's take a look at the digraphs today. We have W, H, whistle, w, T, H, thumb, but we also know that th can make the mm sound. C h chin ch s h ship sh c k dock. Nice job. Hopefully those are getting easy for you. Remember, you can always use your foundations notebook. And in the back, there's a picture of all the digraphs that will help you when we are sounding out the words. I'm going to go ahead and mark up the digraphs in these words, see if you can kind of point those out with me as we get to them. And then we're going to actually tap out each one of these words. Remember, I have put a little diagram at the bottom to help if you have a mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle helping you. Um, this is just a little visual that when we get to a digraph, because it makes one sound, it only gets a one finger tap. So let's look at this first word together. Let's tap that out. So get your elbows up, get those tapping fingers ready. D, I, sh, dish. Like in our nursery rhyme, the dish ran away with the spoon. Dish. Let's look at the next one. I see the WH digraph. WH whistle w. So we can tap it out. W. Ip. Whip. I would like some whipped cream on my Sunday. Whip. Let's look at the next word. Let's go ahead and tap that out. M -aw -f. Moth. I saw a moth by the light. Moth. Nice job. Let's look at the next word. R itch. Rich. They are rich because they have a wonderful family, rich. Let's look at the next word. Sh, ed, shed. I'm going to put my bike in the shed. Nice job, you can always go back and tap those words out again. Today we're actually going to be making some words. So I'm gonna say a word and I want you to try to see what letters you're going to use to make the words. Before we do this, we're just gonna do a quick warm up where I'm gonna say a sound and I want you to just point on your screen to the letter that you hear. So here we go, ah. Hopefully you pointed to A, g. Hopefully you pointed to G, qua, qua, qua. Q, U, nice job. Z, Z, and ch, ch, ch. The CH digraph, CH chin, ch. I think you're ready. We're going to make some words. So in order to do that, I'm going to say a word 
we're going to tap it and then we're going to figure out what letters we need to make the word. So our first word today is shop. I need to go and shop. Say shop, tap it out. Sh -a -p, shop. To make the word shop, I need sh my s h a o p p p. And I just spelled the word shop. Say the letters with me. We say spell it away. S H O P. And I'm going to put those back. S H O P. And the word was shop. Let's try another word. The next word is very similar to shop, but it's the word ship. There's one difference ship. Let's tap it out. Sh -i -p. Ship. H I I I I P P P E and our word was ship. When we had the word shop, we had a O here. So just changing the vowel sound makes the new word ship. Go ahead and spell that away with me. S H I P and the word was ship. The next word we're gonna try together is the word chin. Chin, touch your chin, chin. Go ahead and tap chin with me. Ch, I, N, chin. Nice job. Ch, C, H, I, 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 N, N. That makes the word chin. Chin, ch, i, n, chin. Hopefully you're tapping with your fingers while you're trying to spell those words. Let's spell it away. C h, i, n, and the word is chin. Let's try another one. We have the word chat. I can't wait to chat with you. Chat, ch, a, t. Chat. Ch. A. T. I hear that T sound at the end. Ch. A. T. Chat. I can't wait to chat with you. What's the digraph in chat? You're right, it is a CH. We can underline those digraphs when we see them to help us point those out. Let's try another word here. Next word we're gonna try is the word thud. I heard a thud on the floor. Thud, a thud is a loud noise. Say thud. Remember on that TH, your tongue needs to be in between your teeth and sticking out a little bit. Thud. I hear thud, thud. T H uh 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 U D D D D Our word is thud thud nice job what's the digraph in that word? You're right, it is the T H sound T H thumb nice job the word was thud. We have one more word today and then we'll be all finished and hopefully you will um, go into the Google Classroom and play the game that I have for you, which is a computer game um, where you have to match the digraphs. So our last word today is the word thin, thin. That was a very thin piece of bread, thin. Say thin. Tap thin with me. I, mm, thin. T H I I I I N and the word is thin. What is the digraph in thin? Nice job. It is the T H sound. T H thumb. Great job today, boys and girls. Hopefully, you're noticing more and more of those digraphs as you are working 
and playing and seeing words all around you. Thanks for joining in. Like I said, um, look at the classwork section and you will find the link to the matching digraph game. It's on education.com. I hope you enjoy it. I thought it was lots of fun myself. Have a great day.